So guys, it is 9 a.m. on Saturday the 30th of April and today we're off for a trip. But where are we going? First things first, we need to head to the airport. So guys, after a quick drive, we have made it to the airport and it's just a short walk to the terminal over there. So guys, as you can see, we've made it to Bournemouth Airport. Now I've never actually flown from Bournemouth Airport. Uh, I've been here once to drop a parcel off when I did Amazon, but I've never actually flown from it. Normally flights today, it's mainly um, Tui and Ryanair. Uh, so let's go see how the check-in process and the security process is. Actually scratch that, Ryanair make you check in online. So I've already done that. Let's go do security. So guys, we have made it through security at Bournemouth Airport. The security was, there was only one lane open, but luckily I was in the first few people to get through and luckily afterwards because there was a massive queue. But we've come through to the departure gates and there's not much here to be honest. There's a Duty Free, there's a W.A. Smith's and then there's this uh, place where I'm having breakfast. So it's a sort of restaurant bar thing and I've ordered a breakfast uh, bat thing with some apple juice and in classic Ryanair style the flight is already half an hour delayed but I'm just going to sit back, enjoy my breakfast and watch the world go by. So guys I've just had some breakfast and waited in the restaurant for a bit and now I'm waiting to board my flight. There's only six gates here, I doubt they all get used at one time uh, but it's pretty busy today. Um, yeah, so in total for these flights, I think I paid about £38. I'll find the photo somewhere, but very cheap. I had a look last night, and the last remaining uh, seat on this plane was £290. So I booked it at the right time. So I think the incoming plane is delayed about half an hour. But hopefully, Ryan and I can make it up. It's a pretty speedy terminal. So we are about to board the plane, but you know, of course, they call everyone to board before the flight's even here. I mean, the plane's not even here yet, so I'm just going to wait in everyone else's queue and see you later. So, in terms of Bournemouth Airport, not the biggest in the world, not a lot to do, but it's more enough so you don't have to walk miles, there's usually straight through security and then you're out to the gate. But yeah, let's go sit on a Ryanair flight and of course, sat in the middle at the back because they don't want to pay for a seat. But it's only two hours, so it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. It's only about 20 minutes to wait. So we're going on this trip as my first solo trip away. Um, I've always I've been on a plane before, but I've never been fully solo on a trip, and also first time staying in a hostel on my own. So I'm excited, but obviously a bit nervous at the same time. But it should be good. It's always a game of how late can you can you wait because you don't want to be, you know, you're not on a plane to go without you. Obviously, you don't want to wait in a queue, so you've got to time it just right. But as you can see at the moment, you can't see a turn around. Everyone is queuing. See on the plane, so. I've got some time. Just a bit of a rundown of finances for this trip. So the flight was, the flight there and back was 38 quid. The hostel was 20 quid a night, so 40 quid. And the parking here at Bournemouth was 40 quid for a few days. So in total for Alicante for three days, two nights has been 120 quid so far. Obviously there's gonna be a bit of food, but I've heard lots of things in Alicante to do with free. Obviously there's the beach, there's this nice uh, castle place. So all in all, maybe, I don't know, closer to 200 but not too much more. In the future I'm, when I move to London which is hopefully quite soon I'll be getting on the cheap Ryanair flights from Stansted for 9.99 and just seeing where it take me. So guys, we've made it to the hostel here in Alicante. So we have this cool little outside area for sitting. If we go in here, we've got a little area for everyone to relax and meet up. Seems very nice. You get your own little privacy with a little curtain in the um, in the room. So very nice. Uh, I'm just going to head out to go see the beach and I might go grab some dinner as well. So guys, it's about 7 p.m. at night. I've just grabbed a little snack because as the Spanish do, they eat late. So I'm gonna try and embrace the culture, but there is the marina down there, but we are going up here, up to the Santa Barbara castle. It's quite a steep walk. Let's go. Guys, we're not even at the top, but look at the view. Look at this. We still gotta go 
up there. I happily admit that's a bit of a walk. We're still not even at the top, but what good views. Look at this. Let's go to the top. So sadly, we walked all the way to the top and the guy said, you can't come in because we're about to close the castle. So I have to come back either tomorrow or Monday to the castle at the top. But anyway, it was a lovely walk up here. Uh, some amazing views. Um, yeah, maybe I'll come back tomorrow evening a bit earlier. There's me not reading the opening hours, but hey ho. So I think I'm just going to go and sit down here and I think read my book a little bit with this lovely, lovely backdrop. So as we were walking down from the castle, uh, we stumbled across some kind of band mixed with a stag do. I'll put a I'll put a clip of it in, in a minute. Anyway, we had a lovely find, and now we're going to find some tips. Tomorrow.